Hey guys, what's up? Chad here. Uh, go to watchchad.com. Get your governor gear. <laughs> go get it. That's going to be fun. Hey, I was sitting here thinking about something. Uh, going to get a little heavy with you for a minute. We don't stop to think about who writes history. Who wrote what we learned when we were growing up? Who's writing it now? And maybe the scariest thing of all is who's going to write about our present day when our present day becomes history. You follow me? It's scary. I've been more than a little dismayed to see the systematic dismantling of the American story as it existed when I was growing up. I mean, look, it's one thing to update details as we go along because sometimes you really do find out that something you thought happened didn't. Like George Washington and the cherry tree didn't happen. But it's something else entirely. When you have people whose goal it is to entirely uproot and destroy the American mythos, it's become fashionable in our society to hate ourselves and to hate our history. And that is a direct result of the cancer of wokeism. Everybody's done become enlightened to this nonsense. And it's spreading throughout the American body politic and metastasizing into the collective consciousness of our society. And we welcome it with open arms. It's the kiss of death for society. And we're now taught that the very foundation of this country rests upon racism and bigotry and the selfish evil scourge of capitalism. You know that thing that lifted half the world's population out of desperate poverty over the past several decades? And we're coming to learn that America apparently did not start in 1776 with the Declaration of Independence, but rather it started in 1619 with the founding of Jamestown. We're being told that this country was built entirely on the backs of slaves, entirely on the backs of slaves. The contributions of hardworking Americans Americans other than slaves, you know, the brave folks that had a devotion to ideals higher than themselves, held by the nation's founders, the adventurous nature, the pioneers and the explorers, struck off into a dangerous country, overwhelmingly sparsely populated, risked their lives. All those things are not only being backed into the corner of history, but in fact, they're being eradicated piecemeal by the new historical understanding that's emerging from this woke and enlightened subculture in America. Now, here's my thing. I love everybody. And I'm perfectly willing for some jackass to think whatever, whatever he, she, or Z, or Jim, whatever your pronoun, wants to think about how this country came to be. Part of living in a free society is accepting that there are going to be ignoramuses out there, and they can think whatever they want. But I draw a line when it gets to the point when they want to fill my kids' heads with this nonsense. And folks, that's where we are. That's where we are. We were there decades ago. It just wasn't as bad yet, but now it's being just paraded right in front of our eyes. But as a great preacher in order, John Wesley once said, what one generation tolerates, the next will embrace. So we got to wake up, folks, because history's always, always, always under attack. Make no mistake about it. But it gets worse over time. And uh, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And we're in this painful cycle where it's still getting worse. Look, you don't have to worship at the feet of the American founders to realize that what they set in, in motion was an, an experiment in freedom, delicate freedom. While imperfect, nevertheless, they sought to instill and, and to make it uh, this idea that we can make it more perfect. That's the amazing thing. That's the amazing thing, to understand that America is a fundamentally good place, even with our scars, even with our sins. It's the best place. So the real question here is, what are we going to do about this? If the Woke and McWokersons of the country have their way, then we won't have an America, like within a generation. The whole Orwellian notion that he who controls the past controls the present is all too true. And it seems like some dim and, and instinctual way the woke crowd get that. They understand it. So it's incumbent upon us to take a page from their book or maybe take a page from the book they stole from us, you know, the history book. Here's the deal. What do you think Joe and Jane woke face are telling their children, you know, the ones they didn't abort about American history? What do you think they're saying? How do you think they're teaching it? Now, more importantly, do you think that they're just assuming those kids are going to pick up all the historical education they need from school? I guarantee you the answer is no. They have the advantage because the schools are actually on their side teaching the nonsense. Now, those parents, they're out there making sure every day to coach their kids in the ways of woke. That's right, the ways of woke. And that includes making sure that their version of history lines up with woke orthodoxy. Watch woke. <laughs> Look it up. It's time that we started doing the same with our own children and really with ourselves. I hate to give you all the homework, folks, but we can't avoid this thing anymore. We're going to have to read. We're going to have to learn, study, know our history, know our foundations. We're going to have to make sure that our kids read. And the real history of America is still out there. They haven't burned all the books yet. And while it's still there, we got to instill it in our heads and in the heads of the next generation because 
one day those little mouth breathers of ours are going to inherit this country and i don't know about you but i want them to know where it came from and what to do with it when they get control and have responsibility so even if you're a fan of history or not i whatever you gotta learn it and you gotta learn more of it so get to reading and teach the kids how to read and make them do it as well i'm sorry to be so heavy on you but man i'm giving you a fair warning with as much levity as i can we are in trouble as a nation and as a culture and as a society. We are Americans by God and we need to know where we came from or we're gonna lose where we're going. I love you. God bless you. Go to watchchad.com. Here's Facebook Poker.